Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Nat G coming at you with some new toys. 10.0 has dropped and uh, I've got some interesting stuff to throw out on the battlefield. Uh, thanks to the content creator program. All right, let's uh, just get right into the meat of it here so we can get on to the gameplay. Uh, I did get from the content creator program the Pathfinder. It's a level 6 MK2 bot. Uh, I did get the uh, brand new pilot that goes with it uh, at level 50, which is the John Orsted, which is a, he is a shield, well, shield debilitating, shield penetrating special ability pilot. This is a beast. This makes, uh, this is what makes the Pathfinder one of the most vicious bots I've dropped in a while. So let's go ahead and go back here. We've also got the Frio drone, which is also an interesting drone. Now, if you guys uh, aren't familiar with what I have said in the past is, Pixonic now is in the process, they drop package deals. You need the bot, you need the pilot, you need the drone to get all the special perks and effects of that particular build. You can do it with two of them, but having all three components uh, really, really uh, jazzes it up, really makes it uh, effective. Now the Frio is a freeze rocket gun. Uh, we got on deployment speed, defense points after each time the after the effect is applied. So you get more defense points uh, when I use my special ability, which is a, I believe it's called the hunter ability. We'll take a look at that here in a second. And great damage protection after effect drops. So when I use my special ability and that ability drops, I get uh, great damage protection, which is really really pretty cool. So let's uh, go ahead and take a, just a quick look at the bot here real quick on the information. Uh, I'll also show you the skills that I got running on this before we hop into the battle here. Now this is an evil life bot and its active ability is the track which does lockdown and every time I do a kill or an assist and anyone who took part in what I've locked down when I've smacked with the track skill uh, is going to get a bump in durability. It's going to get some healing back which is a huge, this is a, that makes this a very good support bot because uh, I lock something down, I hit it with the track, and then uh, everyone else is pounding on it. They get, some, they get some bump from it just for being in on the assist there. That is really, really good. So uh, I should say, you know, it's an assist. You have to get the assist, I do believe. It says, anyone who took part in the kill. Okay, as long as I get a kill or an assist, anyone who is pounding on that target gets a bump back. That's pretty good. Um, now it has an effect which is called the Hunter, increased characteristics until the end of battle, which is, uh, I believe after I activate my track, I get 20% uh, damage bonus, 10% bonus with a maximum stack of six. So I can go up to like 60% uh, speed improvement, a 60% damage bump. It might be, it might be a six stack of the, uh, you know, 20% damage too. We'll have to see how that pans out over the course of playing. But if that pans out right, I could darn near get time and a half of my regular speed, or a little over time and a half. Does have a passive skill, which is suppression. Uh, what happens when someone shoots at me at a distance? Uh, it's a 40%, uh, I believe, yes. 40% enfeeblement. The last five seconds, and my abilities, I get three charges. This is probably one of the most complex bots that they put together, is how these abilities all stack up. And, uh, you know, basically what you got to remember is you want to use the track on things. Uh, you want the pilot so you can get through the shields. And you want the drone so you get uh, some, uh, I believe, let's take one more thing. There's the, uh, for the deep, for the gray damage, you know, protection when your ability drops. So you put all of these things together into a complex web of abilities. Makes this a pretty tough bond. So definitely this is really, this is really cool. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the skills and then we're into the game here. Uh, Hunter's Mark, we've kind of talked about that array, disables an enemy shield, the shield penetration also applies to Pathfinder's allies. So if I knock the shields down on something so I can go through it, all my allies get to do it as well. So it makes that ultimate support bot. You want this on your team. That's what you want. Armor expert. I got deaf survivor, so I can use my ability. If I'm down to 50%, it really just kind of helps me do what I need to do. Wonder worker, so I get healing every time I'm using that mark, that tracker. Then I put uh, stubborn warrior and Adam and guardian. Uh, in fact, I got one more level to go up on Adam and guardian, but just, just gives me more defense points, makes it a tougher bot. I didn't need speed 
because the more kills out there, the more assists I get out there, the more times I use, I believe, my track, it's, I get that speed already. I already get a nice big speed bump, and we'll show that in the gameplay. So I don't need to focus at all on any form of, uh, like, you know, Roadhog, Spy, any one of those that gives you uh, more speed. Just don't need it, unless you really want to be insanely fast. Alrighty, guys, uh, definitely fun one here. We got the new weapons. I'm using the Chones on here, uh, and they are the 600 meter uh, freeze rockets. And close up, they fire straight. At a distance, they can arc over and hit things. Uh, after two consecutive hits, they do a freeze blast, which is great for blowing up those little uh, little monsters in uh, PVE. And uh, but we're gonna test the weaponry out. I think the the, the big weapon, which I don't have is the ultimate ions which on test server made it an absolute beast i might try this with some other weapons as well but definitely i think you want to stick with the mid-range weaponry on this particular bot Alrighty, guys let's hop into some gameplay and have a little fun Alrighty, guys here we go let's go ahead and drop into a match here we are on yeah we're on springfield the damn map and uh, we're gonna focus on the pathfinder uh, Chion's Frio Drone. I got the uh, John Pilot on here. Gonna have some fun. Uh, the round circle thing, the shield, the passive ability around this is, well, I think it's actually kind of annoying, but um, definitely people know exactly what I am from a distance. It kind of lights me up and says, hey, look, uh, <laughs> there's a Pathfinder. Go get it. Uh, but this is, guys, going to be the ultimate support tank on the battlefield. Uh, between the healing factor that it gets for using its tracker skill, the, the passive uh, suppression that it passes off, that you know, you're getting, you know, everyone's getting basically a 40% passive resistance. And if I uh, death or track mark someone, and uh, you know, it gets killed or I get the assist, the entire team gets a bump. I mean, seriously, this this is really, ooh man, wow, that was a lot of fire parties hitting right there. Didn't get that off the battlefield. Um, Definitely, this is a bot that people are going to want to get. Uh, am I going to say this is a balanced bot? No. But I am going to say it is a complex bot, and that is going to uh, make people... You know, it's going to be... You know, running it, people are going to get a little bit confused by it. And basically, just remember a couple things. Two, don't brawl with this thing unless you absolutely have to. And two, death mark. Anything you see out there, death mark it. Or a track mark, I should say. Once you throw that tracker on there... I mean, seriously, you're going to be assisting your team, you're going to be assisting yourself. Just anytime you have that ability open, look for something with a shield and just track mark it. Use a nice better kill right there. Um, basically, that's all, that's basically what I'm going to be doing with it. Of course, you know, as the you know as we go further, you know, like a month down the road into this meta, I'll be coming up with some more, you know, more detailed strategy on how to use this. But I'm just, uh, at this moment, just running it like I did on test server, which is kind of run, gun, and, uh, you know, just try to support where I can. And as you can see right there, uh, this thing has already sped up significantly. I get that, uh, I think it's like a 10% or, yeah, I think it's a 10% speed bump and it can stack up to six times. So up to 60% speed increase. So you're talking about going from, you know, 50 miles per hour up to like 60 some miles per hour. And that is, <laughs> that's just absolutely crazy. So let's go ahead and cap this beacon right here. Let's get in on this. And like I said, with the healing stuff that goes on with this, uh, thanks to Wonder Worker, thanks to uh, the abilities of this bot, I mean, seriously, and the uh, Frio drone, uh, this thing holds up very, very well. It's not like a 500,000 hit point tank or a 500,000 plus, like say, you know, the Ocho or the Ultimate Fenrir or Fenrir. Uh, this relies a lot on its healing and enfeeblement to uh, keep itself, uh, you know, in the fight, so to speak. And see, I've already gotten up, thanks to the Aegis, uh, or excuse me, the Avalon Mothership, I've punched this up here to over 300,000. It's a double kill. I mean, we're getting some good kills with this. Um, this, I did not get the uh, Ultimate Ions, uh, as part of uh, the content creator program, uh, you know, perks. So I'm going to have to wait to see how those turn up in the game, and I'm assuming those will be in the ultimate lucky draw things that will be coming out here, I'm sure, in the next couple days. And there will probably be some, uh, you know, certain 
you know, uh, tasks like, you know, get X number of uh, you know, achievements in the lucky in the leaderboards. I'm sure it's going to be like if the rest of them in the past have been, but uh, definitely that is going to be the over-the-top build. I just got a feeling all the ultimate ions on here are going to be just absolutely massively destructive. Whereas this is not bad right now. Okay, I'm just going to keep lobbing some fire here. We got a couple Titans here. We got just have this Minos that's been kind of chasing us. I'll take the assist. That gives a bump. I like that. Let's go ahead and take the Titans. Nice, nice. This, yeah, this is just a. This is going to be a fun build to run as uh, you know the first of this uh, you know, event kicks off. As far as you know, the first couple weeks of it, this is going to run rampant for the guys who have it. Now, people will develop defenses against it. They'll develop strategies on how to cope with this, just like we have with every other bot that comes out pretty potent. So, we'll see this get tackled here in short order. But there is a nice Titan Slayer right there. Now, will this get uh, this get nerfed in the future? Absolutely, it will. Um, this isn't like right now. I just don't have that same kind of feel I did with the Ocho, where it was like a nightmare meta. This is going to be a potent meta. And it definitely is going to require some adjustment down the stretch. But at least this thing isn't like like Ocho insane, like it was when the Ocho Kochi came out in that first couple days and was launching things off the map. And it was just absolutely crazy. This is a uh, this is a little more it's a little more strategic. So I'm digging it. I'm digging, it. I'm digging the bot so far. Let's go ahead and get this. Let's get this Ravana out of here. Just keep track marking him here. I'm eventually going to get the shot on him. Here comes a, ooh, come on, there comes a Luchador. The best free-to-play Titan out there. And finally, I got hammered out. Uh, this bot is dealable. It's just you really got to hunt for it if you want to take it down. So let's go ahead and drop my Titan. And we're, I mean, we're good. We're like, there's only four minutes left in the match. Uh, so we'll get a few kills. We'll rack up the kill count here. And we had a nice, solid uh, performance there from the Pathfinder. Uh, definitely... Definitely, if you get your hands on one, it'll be a uh, solid asset in your hangar. And as far as, like, I always say, you know, you lease your power in this game. It's one of those that's going to be a short-term lease. A couple months and that thing will uh, get nerfed and your lease on power will have to be renegotiated, so to speak. All right, let's just go ahead and keep uh, chewing on this here. The uh, Titans are still way too overpowered. There's been no mention and address of how to make these things less uh, indestructible because uh, once these things charge up, once the repair amplifiers charge these things up, uh, you can't destroy them with anything. And they just become basically a obstacle on the battlefield. Wow, look at that chunk. That's cool. Chunk, chunk went flying on that. Let's go ahead and cap this beacon right here. Now, I am going to run another match for you guys on this. This is just, it's just too good of a day not to do two matches with the Pathfinder. So that's. We're just going to work on this here. We're shrinking it. We got, we got the majority of the, yeah, we got the majority of the beacons. We kind of keep right on the cusp of three beacons. That is good. Let's go ahead and get, oh, 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 went into phase shift. So we'll get him out of here in a second. Oh, behind cover. That's smart. That's a smart move. Concealment and cover. He's keeping that building right between me and him. Then he knows that I'm firing the bendy bullet. So he knows that he has to, uh, you know, keep it so I can't bendy in on him, but we'll get him in here. Uh, just, just close enough that the bendy got him. You have to be really cautious when using concealment cover on these weapons. Okay, let's go ahead and chew him up with a double kill. And yeah, there's three of them left. We are definitely decisively uh, pushing this down now into uh, victory territory. Super majority of beacons. Okay, we got uh, a couple snipers hanging on the backside. We got a, you know, it's like a crisis reaper build over there. We got a crisis build over here. Let's go ahead and get him out of there. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come out. Just take a pot shot at me. It's so close to the end. You know you want to. Come on, come on, come on. I'm landing. He's going to take the shot. He's coming out in the open. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, he's not going to do it. He's not going to bite on it. Uh, nice, nice match. It is a victory. Pathfinder, solid, solid bot. Uh, definitely package deal. You need the pilot. You need the drone. You need the uh, bot to make it all function well. 14 kills, 9.8 million in damages, and a fair chunk of the kills out there was with the Pathfinder. So uh, definitely, definitely a solid one. All right, guys, let's hop into one more match, and we'll wrap this up for you guys. 
Alrighty guys, here we go, uh, last match here, Dead City, nice. Uh, favorite map, we'll go and see if we, uh, what kind of chaos we can cause out here. Um, I'm going to start out, I'm not going to start with the Pathfinder this time, I'm starting with the Ocho, I'm going to cap a couple beacons, because the Pathfinder is not a great beacon capper, it doesn't have a lot of speed to it. I want to do a little shock and awe, and uh, afterwards then we will uh, we'll drop in the Pathfinder to uh, you know, kind of hopefully mop up the victory for you guys. So let's go ahead and cap this right here. Now um, I'm working on getting a second one of these, uh, the, the, the specific Ocho drone for my uh, second Ocho. I took my third Ocho out of rotation and that's where my Pathfinder is. But I definitely want to put the right drone back on here. And this uh, package deal drone is definitely what you need to make the Ocho its uh, best on the battlefield. All right, especially if you're uh, running the Tiger Pilot, the best bow, or I forget the name of that pilot, the Tiger Pilot. You definitely need the, the right drone to make it all work. I mean, Pixonic does that. They sell, it's, I should say, they sell package deals. You, oh yeah, that's a major mistake. You don't come out of ball mode with the Skyros, so you just roll with it. Okay, um, but yeah, they sell package deals. That's what goes on now. Uh, you look at the Pathfinder, you need the Frio drone, you need the, you know, the John Pilot. Uh, it all works together to make uh, the maximum lethal build that it can be. Okay, we aggressively went in. The Ocho is not the super tank it used to be, but it's still very tanky and very fun to run. And speaking of Ocho right there, that's a devastating build right there. Yeah, he's got the te he's got Tesla guns on there. Let's get that out of here. At least one Tesla gun, but we're gonna get it out of here. Work on it, work on it. We've got him uh, track locked. Wait for a couple more seconds. We can do it again. Come on, come on, come on. Someone's shooting from behind. Good deal. He's gonna run for. Jeez, he should have just focused on me. He could have taken me out. I was so close to getting a, you know, tanking out on the hit points there. So let's. Uh, we're healing back up quick. You can see there. So let's. Go ahead, come on, come on, get unhinged from the wall there. It seems like I'm hung up on something. There we go, now we're moving. Let's see. And you can see I've already jumped up in speed. This Pathfinder, that's that's definitely one of its big assets, it's going into full on speed mode. Uh, just after a very short number of assists slash kill deployment of the tracker feature on this. So let's just kind of wait for it here. Yeah. No, 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 back on target, back on target. Okay, the targeting system is still, it's good. It's better than it was before, uh, especially since we, you know, since they changed it up, but it's still at times a bit wonky. So, definitely gotta watch that. Oh man, he's, I don't know if he's like free out or what. Let's go ahead and track mark him. Let's go ahead and throw the love his way. Kind of staggered on the weapons here. Oh, come on. There's a nice, there's a nice target. Let's see if we can get him off the battlefield. Come on, come on, come on, and oh, come on. Should have been mine. Uh, that works, though. Okay, we got, got 10 more seconds, and I can use the ability again. Yeah, definitely this is one of those builds that you're going to want to be using that special ability as much as possible, since it really helps everyone, including your teammates. Okay, we got ourselves a Ravana right here. There we go, there's a nice double kill. A little love down here. Yeah, let's get behind cover. We got. I don't want to stay in the range of fire there. Let's wait for it. I'm going to track him. My pilot skill. We can ignore the shield. Let's go ahead and just tear him up. There we go. Like it. Okay, we are down. It looks like we're down two players. That's not a good sign. We still got like, you know, six minutes left in the match and we're down two players. That's going to be tough. But let's go ahead and. Get rid of this. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the Fenny here if we can. And definitely, yeah, he's out here. There's a nice rampage. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got a bunch of. Oh, we got tights. We got. Let's run. <laughs> this is not a brawler, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, this thing will not handle brawling like my ultimate Fenrir. So let's go ahead and bring out. Uh, let's go ahead and bring out the Titan. Bring out the Eiffel. Let's go ahead and do a little work here. And I am. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Die. Oh, didn't get the killer. Kind of hung up here. Gosh dang it. Come on. Okay, we got a couple. We got Luchas. Yeah, it's it's tight in time. We are down. Yeah, we're down three players. And I am stuck here. Gosh dang it. Got a silly Newton up there. I see him. Let's go ahead and get back. Let's get back. Let's get back. Zip out of the way here. Man, I just want to get a kill or two. We're, we're definitely not going to win this match. 
But I did have a pretty decent run there uh, with the Pathfinder. Definitely, you know, not a, it shows that it's not the super, not the super bot we all thought it was going to be, but it's definitely a very, very good bot. Okay, we took the defeat, was kind of expecting it. Uh, let's take a quick look at the scores and we'll hop into the hangar and kind of do a review of the event so far. Uh, 7.1 million, 8 by 1, and you can see, yeah, the team kind of fell apart right there. <laughs> but hey, uh, it was fun, got to brawl. Got to have a, you know, a little disaster and mayhem on the battlefield. Alrighty guys, let's hop into the hangar. Alrighty guys, we're back in the hangar here. Heck of a set of matches right there, just absolutely pounded on it. That first match just showed the, the potential beastness of the Pathfinder. And then the second match showed that, you know, they, the Pathfinder does have some vulnerabilities, but uh, definitely is going to be a bot that we're going to have to contend with in the upcoming meta for the next two months. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about, we've got the data pads. This is pretty much what events boil down to. Let's uh, go ahead and go to the data shop, data pad shop here. And let's take a look at what we've got going on in here. Your blue data pads. Uh, if you get a legendary reward, you can see the Ocho's in there, Ophian, nerfed weapons. I mean, there's, there's, there's stuff to be had here, but a lot of these weapons are eh at best now. Uh, especially the damper, the tamer, things like that. Those are been kind of nerfed into the ground. There's Ocho's on here. Uh, definitely, if you get some free ones or a very discounted one, uh, the blue data pads are not a bad option this time around. Let's take a look at the red ones. We're talking that is where the ch the Chion and the uh, rest of the major weapons here. We got. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. The Marana. We've got the Chion and the I believe it's a Jatun. So we've got the major weapons and the legendary rewards. So you, you get a chance at these. And as we scroll down, it's going to be components for them. You, of course, most of the major components, you know, are going to be 500 component parts there. And you can see there's a lot of the, uh, you know, the Tesla guns, which are still vicious, vicious weapons. I anticipate a nerf on those coming up in the uh, upcoming updates. But for now, definitely weapons worth looking at. And down here you have a red one, which is just... Massive weaponry right here. That's all good weapons. Seriously, all good weapons in that particular uh, red and uh, red and gold data pad. So let's go ahead and take a look at the purple ones. And we're talking. This is. I mean, seriously, this is where it is. You've got the legendary rewards in there. You got the pilot. You've got uh, the pathfinder. You've got a curry. You've got the <laughs> the Shen Lu and the Dagon. All good. Oh, seriously, all good stuff. And if you happen to land and get one of these, uh, you're talking, that's all, I mean, seriously, it's all good. Uh, that's that's the gold, purple, slash, dead pad, if you happen to get one of those. Definitely, definitely there's some good stuff in there. Take it all the way down to the bottom here. And you got Dagon, Curry, Shen Lu, and, uh, Shen Lao, and the Pathfinder. All good stuff. I mean, seriously, the data pads are, there's some good stuff in them. The blue data pads, of course, are the ones that are going to have the most chance for you to pick up nerfed weapons. But there's also a chance you could pick up some decent stuff in there as well. So definitely, uh, definitely, I'm kind of liking what I see so far uh, in the data pads. Now, we do have uh, special things coming up. We have the War Robots Live. We've got, uh, we're going to have, uh, you know, there's going to be special videos made by uh, the mentors, I'm sure. And of course, uh, us in the Content Creator Program are going to be featuring uh, the new bot, and we're going to be talking a lot about tactics and vulnerabilities. And definitely, 10.0, the 10th anniversary. You know what? I'm really kind of digging it so far. Alrighty, guys. Uh, time to bail out here. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm dropping it. Alrighty, guys. Stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.